Welcome back to Asura's Wrath, episode 15.5. This is the second of the anime cutscene DLCs we'll be dealing with. And, uh, well, uh, Yash is, uh, quite cross with Deus about the kind of things he's been doing for the past 12,000 years. Mm. We're, gonna, we're gonna go, uh, talk to him. I say that because one quick loading screen, and, well, here he is. Did we ever discuss why these DLC episodes were just animated quick-time events? I don't know why. I mean, the entire game is animated quick-time events, but this is more literally animated with quick-time events. I don't think uh, I would have enjoyed this game as much if the whole game was like this. No. I think these are just these are just fun little bonuses because, hey, we got all the, all the rest of this DLC. Might as well throw in these as well. Well, still, didn't these cost money? Cutscenes cost money now? Well, yeah, they're like two dollars. But the thing is, they 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 fill in pretty important uh, plot elements here, because this pretty much solidifies Yasha's crossover to our side. Hmm. So, uh, so he has a question for the boss, and he's he's treasonous. Kill him. Like you really don't have to do much in order to. Uh, to, to be accused of treason in this game, it seems. I love this! He's doing absolutely nothing! And, like, he barely has to move to knock him out of the way! Excuse me, pardon me, beg your pardon, excuse me. This is like the equivalent of, you know, putting your hand in the face of somebody you don't like and pushing them away. And then, excellent! Another excellent! And there we go. Anyway, as I was saying, Do not interfere. This new solution could be the right path to the salvation of Gaia. Lord Deus is So he's been here in humanity's suffering for like 12,500 years. And here comes Asura, and he accumulates all the power they've gotten in that amount of time, just like that. So he's like, "Wait a minute. We're missing something here." I think As we've been killing these people for nothing. No. No, after 12.5 thousand years, you're finally getting this? I don't think Yash is very bright. No, and I don't think so. It's because he wears the mask. Mm. He doesn't have yeah, it anymore, it so all the knowledge is coming, flowing back into his head. It must have sapped your brain power! Majora's mask will do that to you. Well... You may speak. It's shattered, and then the primitive people found it and fixed it, and then it became... <laughs> it. Added a few I've more details. Uh, I've took just tied the entirety of Legend of Zelda into Osiris Wrath. <laughs> well, I mean, we already have Lord Bam. Ganon here. If we actually <laughs> we actually take a dark god, fuse it into Yasha's mask, and add a few more details, there we go, it's Majora's mask. Yeah, Demise is actually a... Uh, a uh, uh, what is it? A, d a destruction a or... Uh, Colloquialism of uh, Deus. Oh, maybe. It's like combine Deus with uh, with a Goma, and he becomes Demise. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess the Forbidden is like a Goma of sorts, with the way it's you know stomps around and it's annoying as fuck. Hmm. By the way, this is stylish as shit, and I love it. I feel like there should have been some dialogue here. Yes. Not have it. Oh, there we go. No, I would not have it. There is no dialogue while we show off the awesome great ones. That and that is one pointy cause. nose. Cut what? diamonds with that thing. For that cause, we have taken as That's like his, uh, his ultimate we weapon. Goma, and attained a great power. <laughs> he fires a really a sharp pointy nose laser. You try to punch him in the nose and he'll just stab your fist. <laughs> oh no! So, Deus's dialogue is pretty much X without X is worthless. Y without X is meaningless. But X and Y plus Z equals the world. Grilled cheese without tomato soup is meaningless. Actually, that is true. Thank you, Lord Deus. <laughs> Can I have just one of these deities slip up and say the nine deities? That way everybody questions where the other two went. <laughs> they crossed me. Yeah, we don't talk about that ninth one. 
Especially number eight. <laughs> Friggin' loser. To avoid what so is his name? A Sura or something? <laughs> the, yeah, the guy who keeps dying. Way. <laughs> that I, had not I thought the great Magoo was gonna show up. <laughs> you know, uh, looking at him, he looks very, very lanky. Like he's got the build of Gumby. Oh, and he lit himself on electricity. Whoa! Oh, there we go. He's just got massive, gigantic pecs. I I guess so. Do you see how heavy his robe was? Because he carries the weight of the world in his shoulder. <gasps> I thought he was just going to go to the hyperbolic time chamber. <laughs> we have one of those. Well, I mean, they haven't aged a day in 12,000 plus years. Why not? Now that we've had our commercial break, it's time to fight! Ooh, we get to fight Deus. Oh, shit! Yeah. Oh no, he's got the power of lightning on his side! Yasha, what are you going to do with your extreme speed? <laughs> oh, that's just cheating! <laughs> what a cheap bitch! I hate when they do that in DBZ Budokai. Just teleport away when you're starting a combo. And now my hand is broken. Ow. Your hand's broken. I'm the one who has to rapidly mash this shit. True. It's like my third time doing this. First Ooh. time because the capture kind of went a little weird. Still kind of did. Second time because I... Well, I died. And uh, this is the third time. Wait. For an animated cutscene like this, does it show you something different if you fail? No, it, the screen just fades to red and oh, you get a game over. Come on. And, and a pop-up shows up that says, Hey, you should do, do, do the button props, dummy! Uh-oh. Do nunchucks ever work? Serious question. <laughs> I don't think so. I think they were made for the sole purpose of oh, hitting that's the different. Oh, Yeah, that is very different. Uh, the sole purpose of nunchucks is to hit yourself and make yourself look silly on internet videos. I don't know, Deus did it pretty good. But it's mostly, like, oh, great, 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 add. Great, too many greats. Not great enough, though. Ooh. That was blown away, this is cool. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, that... <laughs> They're fighting so hard at peeling paint. <laughs> you ever fight a guy so hard the building comes down around you? <laughs> well, I'm experiencing it right now. Oh, See, no. it looks like... like, like Nunchucks don't look like they were meant to kill, only to, like, sting. Especially when they can get countered easily like that, but then again, I guess he's got another arm you can just bust him right in the skull with, but, you know. <gasps> well, I guess oh. he can do that, too. Oh, well, okay. Quick, ma mash circle to stay alive! Go, 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 go! Uh, uh, yeah, that, that was where the capture messed up. It, it, it did that twice. It was very strange. Uh, I think they used the wrong screen for that, too. No, everything's pretty illuminated, illuminated pretty well right now. You know what I'm realizing while watching these animated cutscenes? What? The actors weren't allowed to see the footage when dubbing it. Probably not because it doesn't sink at all. Nope. You need to give your voice actor context if you want them to actually, you know, emote. And, you know, for it to match. Hit me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, Lord Deus. Hit me. Welcome back to the blackjack table. Hit me. We need to go back to the old speed racer dubs. Hit me with all of your might! Oh! 
Use your fist right now to punch, to punch me in the face. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh man. Go, Yasha. So Yasha is going to put everything he has into this one fucking punch. Ooh. That's how you know we're getting towards the end of the episode, right? And here we go. Running in the one speed good of hit. sound. One good hit is all it takes. So look at this, though. Without bloodshed, now I'll shed your blood to prove that point! Oh, he hit the spiky nose! <laughs> that was pretty cool. Oh, I, I love shots like that, where you get to see the damage from a much wider scale. Oh, that's great. Yeah, he punched <laughs> the pointy that nose. All? Like, Is that all you got? <laughs> Now watch this. Oh God! Oh no! You want to be powerful? You need a nose that's striking and can take any blow. I will Yours show is you. weak and full of cartilage. True meaning of power. Apparently, mine is filled with adamantium. The nose knows. Oh, that was great. I love that. <laughs> so, uh, th this literally just fills a gap in between episode, uh, 15 and 16. Oh. Okay. Because we are going to swing right back to Asura in episode 16. Okay, so we had to see Yasha get his ass kicked before we could go back to Mr. Madman. Yes, and, uh, Yasha will make an appearance in episode 16, and his appearance will be like, oh, okay. Hey, he's gonna come with a broken nose. <laughs> <laughs> and Dude, then we'll know. <laughs> I think he's gonna be like, <laughs> oh god! So just imagine having that mandibles hanging off of his <laughs> exactly. chin. He comes back and he's all bloody, bloody and beaten. It's like Yasha, what happened? You'll have to buy the DLC episode to find out where Yasha gets his ass kicked. <laughs> How bad did I get my butt handed to me? Well, two dollars, <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, I was just thinking. Yeah, pay two dollars. See my beating against my boss. Oh, that so, was... Yes, uh, we got some very uh, Japanese-sounding names, you know, uh, uh, Chika Tamura, Sawako Kuniyoshi, Hideko Osara, you know, it all, Tomoko, it all makes sense. Tomoko Shintaro. Mauricio Garcia! Cool. Oh, okay, all right. Ingress... Ah! AIC... Ooh, I like them. PA works? Holy shit. There's also a guy named uh, Ikura Animal. Dude... Probably because his last name is like Japanese for animal, but he just calls it animal. Oh. You know, kind of like Project E Toy. That was his name. There's actually a lot of good studios it's with some backbone for these cutscenes. I like it. And it just goes to show you how difficult it is to make anime and how many people you have to underpay to make it happen. That's so sad. Yet here we are in Western animation where it's practically fucking flourishing. Look at that one out. Hey Capcom, can I ask for a present next time? Can you actually believe in the Switch? The thing that's selling, like, Bilio? Hey Capcom. Please be here next year, okay? Oh, that's even sadder! Oh, I know what you're talking about, too! S for sad. Oh, <laughs> Oh, man. S for stock market crash for uh, Capcom. Uh, well, you know... This guy it. again? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, fuck it. Next, uh, this one's going to be about Studio 4C. No, oh, that'll work. The guys who definitely helped out a lot with this game, more than they uh, needed to. You might be able to throw in the works of uh, PA Works in there, too. Nah, just Studio 4C. I only got three slides to work with. And oh, okay. About a about, uh, tiny paragraph of text. Fine. I mean, I can't, I mean, I can't put a pamphlet at those things. But uh, this is pretty much how <laughs> Deus and August first met and how they became best boyfriends. <laughs> BBFs. <laughs> BBFs. Actually, this kind of helps out. Because how did Deus recruit the strongest people in the universe? Well. So it's like, you fight good, fine, I'll join you if all the other fights are like this. And they aren't. 
you need somebody to throw a monkey wrench into your plan for it to be interesting again. Ha ha ha! Case in point, my student. It's a bit of a short fuse. I don't think he even has a fuse. Anyway, <laughs> jump back to title. Oh. Well. So, all right. Okay. See you next time on Nasura's Wrath. We're gonna get back to the story and get back to Asura and get back to some good old-fashioned mad, 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 mad. Dying. Yes. <laughs>